Thanks, guys. I'm here for our Olympic special with Law Murray and Margo Farrell. Margo was a bronze medalist in the London Olympics. She swam freestyle for the 4 by 2 by 400 4 by 4 200. By 200. <laughs> uh, and Law is our water cooler expert who went to the, the Sochi Olympics to cover it. So first, let's start with Law. What was your experience like it's in a, Sochi? Uh, loaded question and it's 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 one that i'm starting to get the pr proper perspective with after being back home for a few days now basically we're, we're talking about all these athletes coming from all over the world all these journalists coming from all over the world uh something that a lot of people don't talk about often uh, with the olympics is how many volunteers it takes to uh, help coordinate the games whether they're uh, working as human arrows or working as press people or just working to make sure people are um, you know, going to the right place and, and things like that. Make sure the transportation is running on time. And, you know, it, it was everything. It was an athletic experience. It was a big media conference. It was the opportunity to um, meet all these athletes, obviously. Uh, it, it was a loaded experience. And for me, for the most part, it was overwhelmingly positive. So let's turn that question to Margo. You were a competitor in the London Olympics. What was it like to be an athlete there? You know, much like you know what you said, it's, it really is a loaded question. I still don't think that I've fully grasped the whole experience, and it's you know been two years. Um, people ask me, you know, what's it like to have a medal, or you know, what was it like when you swam? And I still like all of the memories haven't formed because it was just so incredible. You know, definitely once in a lifetime experience doesn't even begin to cover it. So as an athlete, you've been there, you've experienced the uh, Olympic Village and all of that. Did you watch the Sochi Olympics any differently, having that firsthand experience? Well, leading up to the games, you know, seeing all the previews on TV and stuff really made me feel nostalgic, kind of kind of made me miss that experience as a whole. Um, but it got me excited, definitely, you know, found myself looking over old pictures, you know, thinking back on old memories. Um, it definitely was, you know, I started wondering, like, what do their rooms look like? Do they look like ours? You know, what's their dining hall like? Like, putting myself to back where I was in London and trying to think of, you know, because it's a completely different setting, especially because it's a winter game. So it's very different in terms of the sports, the athletes, everything that goes into that. Um, but it's, it was weird. It definitely was a weird, weird feeling. So then for law, what events did you cover specifically? You were on mountain sports? Yeah, I pretty much covered most of the activity that required taking multiple buses up to the mountain cluster. Uh, my partner, who I went to the games with from USC, Kim Yishikui, she has covered hockey, she's covered figure skating, she did most of the coastal cluster indoor sports, which I kind of feel bad for her because she didn't get to see nearly as many medal events that I did as from a United States perspective. Uh, snowboarding was one of the sports that I felt like was the most fascinating part of the games. You had new events, you had overhyped superstars uh, going into these games. And I say that because I was an NBC kind of thing. And I saw really compelling stories like Vic Wilde, who was born in America, who now represents Russia, win two gold medals for that country. What was your favorite part of it? My, my favorite part was, again, you're seeing gold, gold medalists, you know? Uh, you're writing about them, you're covering them, you're getting their raw reaction from winning. Sage Cosberg, Jamie Anderson, you know, just how does it feel to win? It's like, oh my God, my mind's blown. That was awesome for me.